Hi everyone! This video is for you if you want to use Website.com email hosting services but you already have a domain and website with GoDaddy. So if you're subscribed to a Website.com business email plan, you can follow this tutorial to find out how to add the MX records in your DNS settings so that you can keep your domain and website with GoDaddy. So I'm going to log into my GoDaddy account. I'll look for my initials or my name in the top right. Click on that and then click My Products. So look for the domain name you want to use with the Website.com email services. And then click Manage. Once you're here, you can click Domain on the left. Click Manage DNS. Note, if you see any MX records on this page, delete them. Now we can click Add New Record. Under Type, choose MX. Now I'm going to open an email that I received when I signed up for the business email plan. And everyone who subscribed to business email services while having a domain registered somewhere else will have received this email. Look for the subject line, Action Needed to Use Your Business Email Service. So now that we see this email, we're going to follow method number one if you already have a website on your domain name. We'll go back to GoDaddy. Under name, we'll enter the at symbol. For the priority field, we'll enter 10. TTL stands for time to live and we're just going to choose one hour for a more balanced value. But if you want the propagation to happen faster, you can keep it at half an hour. Now we'll click save. Now that that's been added, we'll go ahead and we'll add new record again. This time we'll choose MX record type. For the name, we'll put at symbol. For the priority, this time we'll enter 20. And enter backup.sitemailserver.com under data. So this is the information that I pulled from that email. And again, we'll choose one hour for the TTL. Now click Save. That's it! You should now be able to use Website.com for your email services while keeping your website and domain on GoDaddy. Keep in mind that it may take up to 24 hours for these changes to take effect. Don't forget to subscribe to Website.com for more website tutorials and tips, and thanks for watching!